up YouTube, Zax here, and today I'm going to show you the Photon browser working on an Android phone. Now I showed you this last year on an iPhone 5, and I showed it to you the year before on an iPad 2, so it seems to get better each time. Now uh, the reason I'm showing it to you again, I think it's the same version, is because when I showed it to you last time, even though I put for iOS and Android in the title, it wasn't actually released for Android at the time of filming. So. I'm just here to show you how it would perform on an Android phone. Now, uh, before I get into the video, I'm just going to explain something quickly. That uh, I am going to be trying to increase the quantity of videos I upload from now because um, the, you probably won't believe it, but the last uh, few years, the last five years, I've had my channel. Um, I've had really slow upload speeds on my internet. Uh, in 2011, we had an upgrade. Uh, to 30 megabits down, which is quite fast at the time, and the upload speed is 2 megabits, and to this day, it has still been 2 megabits upload, so you probably wouldn't believe, but I've been uploading these full HD videos in 1080p on a 2 megabit upload speed. Uh, but recently, I upgraded the connection, so we're now on 100 megabits down, and the upload speed's still not faster than it's about 7 or 8, but it's much better than what it was. So, uh, onwards, let's open Photon on the Samsung phone. Now, it's definitely quite apparent that I've not used this as much as I used the iPhone one because I've not actually changed any of the settings yet. But that means that it's good for me to be able to give you a fresh start and that should actually give the best amount of performance. So, uh, it's a very similar layout. You've got the tabs up here, uh, you've got the address bar up here, back button here, uh, the menu button uh, gives you a shortcut to the settings, which is up here, and the little Thunderbolt icon, that's how you activate the flash. So, go into the settings here. So you've got your bookmarks, your history, you can enter full screen, you'll create a premium, you can activate the flash, you can put your bandwidth up from 1 to 6. Now, if you've got a bandwidth, or a really, f no, a really fast internet connection uh, should affect your bandwidth more. So, if you've got a fast internet connection, um, you should go for a 6 or a 5. Uh, it really depends on how it performs your connection. If you've got a slow connection, then maybe stick to one or two. And if you're sort of mid-range, let's say mid-range is about 20 to 30 megabits, you go for three or four. Uh, for five or six, maybe you have 50 megabits download. And for one or two, yeah, slower than 10 megabits. So let's just back out of that. Now you've got the mode. So this is just to optimise... Uh, the website to work for different types of websites. So you've got video, which is like uh, YouTube or a video site which doesn't have an app. Uh, game, so you can play a flash game, although I highly don't don't recommend that. And the just general web browsing, so a little flash websites and stuff like that. Uh, now, if it doesn't connect, you want to change the port. So you've got four ports, and uh, on the last video it was on two, but this one's like three by default, so leave it on that. And if it doesn't work, then you can just change the port and it should work. You can restore a uh, past premium purchase if you upgraded before. And you've got local access, which uh, just leave that off. You can clear your cache, your cookies, history, clear or private browsing, pop a blocker, uh, your user agent. So this is how the websites recognise you. So uh, this is going to recognise me as just using an Android browser. However, you can have it recognise you as using Chrome on the desktop, Firefox on the desktop, Internet Explorer and Safari on the Mac. So I'm going to go to the Nissan website first. Let's type that in. And it loads the mobile site as you'd expect. So let's turn on the flash now. So, uh, it's not actually free anymore by the looks of it. Uh, when I filmed at the time, it wasn't free. Uh, what it is, is it uh, works differently on Android. On iOS, you would just buy the app. Uh, because uh, iOS is quite restricted in terms of its adware app. I don't really like it. So, um, I've not actually bought this app on Android yet as the full version. So, you can continue with ads. And it's going to prepare the flash in the same way it would on an iPhone. And we're in. This is a flash player running. So, uh, you see, advert straight away. Exit that. So, you can change your input down here with the little bottom left. So, you can have different modes. You can have the mouse mode, the drag mode, or the touch mode. Now, I'm on mouse mode here, and this is what I would most commonly use. So, drag your little mouse around here, and touch anywhere on the screen to click it in. So it works fairly well. 
and then you can click up here. But see, I've got the mouse pointer up there. Now, if I put my finger here and just tap the screen, it's going to click where the mouse is actually located. So uh, that doesn't actually affect the performance. So I'm going to change websites again. Go once again, uh, keep these things uniformed. The voxel.co.uk. .co.uk and video should play if it doesn't then I'll go into a, a website so a little bit of choppiness showing up here that's the insignia advert, okay let's just try and zoom out now you see zooming can be a bit choppy uh, so uh, it's kind of similar to what it was before. You can see the frame rate's not the highest thing in the world, but uh, they're not terrible either. So uh, it is basically just um, what we had last time on the iPhone, uh, just ported to Android. So you're not really going to notice any major differences. I think I just hit the wrong vehicle there. It's a Fira Tour I wanted. There we go. So this is the video that I displayed on the iPhone before. And it's exactly the same frame rate, exactly the same, there's no difference at all. Obviously the phone's in portrait, so it looks a little different, but no, the frame rate is basically the same as what it was on the iPhone. So uh, you're not going to sacrifice anything by getting the Android version of this. There is the uh, big rumour that, or the big saying that Android apps are always lower quality than the iOS counterpart. Uh, but uh, I don't actually think that's true. Um, it depends on the app, like the speed test internet app, uh, for your testing your internet speed, obviously, uh, is quite low quality compared to the iPhone one. The graphics are much slower and uh, the results aren't as accurate. Uh, so, I, some of them, that is true, but for this app it appears to perform exactly the same as the iPhone did. Now, if you want to see uh, the full uh, version of this video compared with a proper computer as well, then uh, you can go and watch the previous review I did on this on the iPhone because I also compared it to a computer on that video. And I'd like to thank the YouTube community actually for making that my most popular video. Um, it recently overtook the Passbook iOS 6 video, so uh, I'm quite happy with that achievement. Thank you very much. So, thank you for watching this video, and I will see you again in the next one.